Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Um, my name is uh, Yolanda Pensa. There are other people in the room uh, who are uh, certified trainers, so people that uh, uh, at Wikimedia Italy has uh, participated in this uh, uh, certification. So Marco Chemello is one of them. Uh, there is uh, Dario Crespi, I think uh, Nicolo Caranti. Uh, so uh, some of the people that already participated in this uh, uh, um, experience. And, uh, and so they can uh, also help me and uh, answer question. So I'm just going to uh, present uh, very briefly uh, what we've been uh, doing at uh, Wikimedia Italy. Okay. And I don't see it. Okay. So, um, first of all, the idea of uh, certifying trainers is definitely something that uh, is uh, in the air. Uh, so several chapters, I know Wikimedia UK, uh, also Wikimedia Germany have been uh, uh, doing activities in this field. And uh, also we did the training for trainers in the past. Also reading Wikipedia in the classroom is uh, a trainer for trainers, uh, a training for trainers. So also something that uh, we can learn from and of course uh, is uh, uh, we, um, we gain experience from. Um, this project that we've been implemented uh, at Wikimedia Italy has started in reality in 2013. There was uh, this page on uh, Meta you can find. And uh, we just finished uh, the first round of uh, uh, certified trainers. So um, at the moment we have uh, 12 people that have uh, taken uh, this uh, uh, experience this uh, process and uh, we had uh, a scientific committee some of the members are also here at Wikimania we try to um, create a scientific committee that could help us uh, also with uh, uh, international experiences so uh, there are some participants of course from Italy but we tried also to get uh, uh, members uh, that know Italian uh, but uh, also have a broader vision from uh, other experiences so um, the certification um, essentially uh, is designed for four main reasons. The first one was a very practical need of Wikimedia Italy. Um, we don't want to implement uh, um, training in the school directly. So we wanted to be able to identify people that we can suggest to schools and institutions. But to do so, how can we make that list? So how can we say that those people uh, we can recommend them or not. So the first idea was uh, uh, how we can uh, uh, endorse uh, um, people that we know. And in fact, in the first round of uh, participants, we have uh, basically trainers that have been working with uh, Wikimedia Italy for a long time. The second need is related to endorsing skills. We have uh, a lot of uh, volunteer and professionals that already do training. So how we can uh, um, evaluate and highlight those competences, those uh, capacities, and those skills. So a certification can be a tool that can uh, uh, endorse uh, this knowledge. Um, a third issue is uh, how we can enhance it. So we have people that are very good, but sometimes there are needs. Uh, so they would like to learn more about uh, um, soft skills, uh, sometimes uh, um, uh, public speaking, uh, sometimes is uh, how to design uh, an educational project. So how can we make those skills better? How can we support them? And uh, the last issue is actually a very hot topic in our community. How we can design a system that allows new people to enter. So we need something that allows to multiply the trainers. We often work with the same people over and over. So how we can facilitate uh, an entry point for new trainers. So um, we design, well, first of all, what is the certification? So what we have is a, um, a volunteer or a professional whose skills have been certified by an institution, in this case is Wikimedia Italy, and we decided to create a different kind of uh, um, 
certification. We have one for lecturers, one for tutor, and one for mentor. Um, we decided to multiply the kind of uh, certification because we have uh, people that have different skills, different attitude. So the fact of having people that are good in talking to a public can be one skill, one uh, capacity, but we can also have more technical people, uh, people that can support uh, um, participants in workshop online so they can do different things and not only talking to a public. And the last issue is a mentor. So having someone that can support new trainers. We also found that this is a specific skills that needs have a, also a, a specific attitude. Um, we also specify for which project uh, each trainer uh, has those uh, capacities. So we don't uh, provide uh, a certification for all the project, but we specify if it's uh, a, tr um, a trainer for Wikipedia, a tutor for Wikimedia Commons, a tutor for Wikidata, and so on. We also included uh, OpenStreetMap because uh, um, Wikipedia, Wikimedia Italy is also a chapter of uh, OpenStreetMap Foundation in Italy. And uh, we refer to the Creative Commons certificate to include uh, also skills related to um, Creative Commons, so copyright, uh, and the capacity of uh, presenting it. I'm sorry, my heart uh, is not working <laughs> properly, so I take some stuff <laughs> that, uh, that's... Uh, um, furthermore, we also differentiating the experience that trainers have. So at the moment, we um, certificated 12 people that are extremely experienced. So they had a, uh, they did project with every kind of institution. But we wanted to um, identify uh, some experience that they already have with uh, primary school, secondary school, university. We differentiated research because it's more related to um, open science and the capacity also to accompany university in that area with the Wikidata and with uh, our project as uh, research infrastructure. And of course, a glance, so the capacity of uh, talking to a public that is uh, uh, made of a cultural institution. Um, the, we also think that uh, every trainer should have uh, essentially three blocks of uh, uh, competences. The first one is experience. Um, and with experience, uh, I don't only mean uh, the fact that they already did uh, this job, but also because uh, uh, the Wikimedia project uh, is a knowledge that you also learn through experience. So the fact of being active in the project is something that is needed. So you need both uh, the capacity of presenting, working with people, but also the capacity of working online with the communities. Um, the second, and uh, I put some link uh, where you find uh, further resources related to what we identified. The second issue is, is knowledge. We made a list of uh, essential knowledge. So knowledge that everybody should have, for example, uh, knowing the code of conduct, knowing how the uh, Wikimedia project are structured, how is the uh, um, basic uh, rules about uh, the participation of students online. So we made a list of this, and then a list of uh, knowledge that everybody should have related to specific projects. So Wikipedia, Wikisource, uh, um, Wikidata, how to make upload, and so on. And lastly, there is an issue related to method. So how you design a project, an educational project, how you address uh, um, students, uh, um, how you can uh, create uh, um, objective, uh, educational objective and uh, select the best method to reach those uh, objectives. And uh, when a person wants to become a certified trainer, essentially this is uh, the, the process that they have to follow. The first step is job shadowing. In the case of uh, the 12 people that we engage, it was not necessary because uh, it was the first round. So we, we knew them. We already had feedback from professors and uh, students. They participated in their training. But also it was impossible, obviously, to establish a job shadowing if we don't have uh, people to shadow. Um, the, sec uh, the sh job shadowing is very important. The idea is uh, you first listen to somebody else. You look at uh, conferences, you participate in events so that you can see how people present uh, the project. Then you support uh, your mentor. Uh, then you present yourself. So you do it uh, the first time uh, by yourself. And the mentor can obviously support you in uh, presenting and maybe doing more, more, uh, uh, more round of presentation. The second step, step is a self-assessment. So every person is asked to identify 
which are their strengths, which are their educational needs, also what they need to improve uh, their capacity. And uh, our Wikipedians tend to be quite critical, so we actually get uh, incredible self-assessments. Uh, people are extremely, uh, sometimes they're even over-critical about uh, themselves. Uh, so this is a step that we found uh, useful. Also, looking at uh, the list of knowledge that we think it's important, and reviewing. So do you know everything? Do you need some support in some of those areas? The third uh, step is to learn, of course. So the idea of uh, this uh, process is also to create opportunities of learning something new, uh, to discover how things uh, can be updated, how you can improve uh, your communication skills, uh, the structure of your presentation, and so on. So we offered, uh, um, in particular uh, last year, we offered two training related to how to design um, a lesson, a course, so related to objectives, uh, the method, methodologies, how you um, think about your beneficiaries and how you structure your presentation for them. And uh, we also had a meeting related to public speaking. Um, uh, we are planning also to do uh, two more training this year, and we plan to have a regular training every year so that we can uh, support uh, the participants. One will be this year on a slide. Uh, we noticed that a lot of people produce uh, documentation that is very difficult to reuse. And it's uh, ridiculous now in our community. <laughs> we should have uh, content that can be easily reused by somebody new, so that we make things that can be uh, constantly improved. And also, we find common mistakes in the slide. For example, uh, the license is missing. There is no uh, caption on the images. Sometimes we have a problem with the uh, graphic design. Can, we can use, obviously, the form that we, the Wikimedia Foundation provides. So we can enhance also this material. Um, the uh, fourth uh, area is that we ask uh, every participant in, to devote uh, at least uh, 10 hours of their time to improve existing uh, educational material. This is because we have a lot of educational material in the community, but it gets uh, old, uh, it needs a translation, adaptation for countries. So we thought it was a good investment. <laughs> Since we are, they are already there, maybe we can improve that area. And it was very useful also for OpenStreetMap. And uh, finally, uh, every participant has to um, make an assignment, which is uh, a project. And uh, it was quite fascinating to read uh, the project because you have uh, all those experiences of participants that they tell you how they organize course or they plan new courses and they present them and also make a, a critical analysis of it. So it's really interesting also uh, as a documentation that the movement uh, starts having because obviously you have best practices. I think it's going to be also easier next year because we have some models. So we have some, uh, some of the documents were really great. So we can suggest them to others so that they can obviously learn and see also how you can better structure your idea. Uh, the evaluation is made uh, by the scientific committee that, uh, that uh, looks at uh, uh, all the different content that is produced by the certified trainer, so the mentor report, when you're going to have the second round, um, the evaluation that uh, people that participated in the courses made, uh, the self-assessment, uh, the contribution that obviously is just acknowledged, uh, the assignment, and also we will be uh, doing some um, presentation that will be analyzed by uh, the scientific com community in, by the scientific committee in the future. So just to conclude, uh, some of the strengths and the critical issues. Um, it was fantastic to see um, the availability of people. We're talking about 12 people that are, are really experienced, that they have been doing uh, this train, this work for uh, ages. And uh, everybody was eager also to learn more. They participated actively. So it, we got a very good feedback. And uh, I need also to thank the people in the room <laughs> that actually participated. But uh, people um, accepted this process, I think, in a positive way. Um, also, uh, as I was mentioning, the assignment produced uh, a very interesting documentation and uh, a report of best practices. Um, we found that uh, the combination with reading Wikipedia in the classroom was uh, fruitful because uh, it has a different approach compared to other working materials that we've been using. So it was also um, a possibility of adapting and learning more in a different way. So we're, as a strength, uh, I would say that we have really a, a nice, interesting list of people that we can... Um, 
really be proud and uh, um, present to anyone as Wikimedia Italy. But uh, I'm, I'm, and we knew it already, probably. But uh, it's nice also to, to see also how it grew uh, throughout the process. Um, looking at the critical issues. See, the first issue that is the main one is uh, really we have uh, very bright people with a lot of experience, uh, and they're really concentrated sometimes uh, in being very good in what they do. But of course, teaching means to make sure that your students become really good. <laughs> so this process of uh, uh, becoming trainer and focusing your attention in uh, the capacity of uh, your public to earn skills uh, and uh, participate in and being really understood is something that uh, uh, is an area that it was interesting to look at. Uh, and we also had a very positive feedback on the lessons that we made about uh, pedagogical tool um, supporting in designing how the course can be done. So that was a positive uh, um, result, but of course uh, it highlights uh, a need in the community. Another area is really the possibility of uh, uh, looking at a new method. In general, the Wikimedia community tends to be conservative. So um, being a bit more innovative, looking at different formats, this is also something that can be uh, improved. And also um, improved through a presentation, of course, of uh, resources and exchanges with professionals in this area. Um, See, the last issue, I already highlighted uh, the issue of slide, that uh, we really need to make uh, um, doc documents get, that can be reused. Um, but the last issue is really more about uh, um, um, how we can uh, uh, make this process uh, uh, maybe uh, organized in shorter bits so that people can follow it more easily because at the moment it's quite long and uh, some of the people we had some dropout uh, in particular by women uh, so two of the participants we already have a, a unbalanced uh, number of trainers um, but this is something that we need to consider to allow people maybe to do blocks of uh, the training in different moments of their lives so when they have time and so on um, also related to gender, um, it would be also useful that we extend uh, this process to everyone. So having uh, the capacity of uh, uh, presenting correctly Wikipedia is definitely a skill that everybody in the board of a uh, Wikimedia chapter should have uh, uh, as a, you know, a competence, as well as all the members of the staff. So making uh, um, this capacity something that is uh, uh, widely available and uh, widely developed, uh, we think that could be an interesting next step. Thank you. I don't, please. Uh, do you want to come in front, or can I repeat the question? Yeah, sure. uh, uh, I'm Sarah, I'm from Wikimedia UK. I've been doing training for 12, so it's been really lovely to see you. And we've been using Wikiwell for the last little while uh, to support training, which is really helpful. Uh, the microphone is coming. Fantastic, thank you. I'll make it the short version, sorry. Um, <laughs> Uh, at Wikimedia UK, we've been using Wikilearn to support the training of our trainers. I wondered if you'd been looking at that at all. No, not at the moment. Uh, but you're right, uh, that's an uh, excellent uh, working direction. And definitely. And also, it, mm, uh, I'm very happy if we can uh, discuss more, uh, if you have any suggestion. Also, some of the things uh, related to the knowledge, uh, uh, this is something that we can really look at an international level and uh, having sharing this uh, process, that would be fantastic. I think also um, imagining this process as something international with obviously uh, local uh, uh, approaches, uh, I think should be the, the way to work. Yeah, I'm having a conversation as well with Wikimedia Deutschland and Wikimedia Netherlands, and we're going to meet again in a couple of months, so if I can get your contact details and maybe we Fantastic. can all get on in that conversation. With pleasure, Thank yes. You. Really lovely to hear about this. Thank you. Thanks. Um, I see Asaf uh, uh, rise his end, but maybe the gentleman in front is the closer. Uh, so maybe we... Uh, um, if you want, otherwise the mic. Uh, uh, Asaf was before. 
Quick question. How many of the scientific committee that were assessing the trainers are qualified teachers or professional IT trainers? Um, we have three. Um, we try to have a combination of people with different skills. So um, Luca Botturi, who is a, uh, well, I can show you. Um, we have three members that are specialized in uh, uh, skills. Luca Botturi, in particular, is a um, uh, is a professor in uh, media literacy, and uh, he teaches teachers in Switzerland. They're all volunteers. Uh, also, um, Giuseppe Profitti, Eliana. Uh, Paladini, sorry, I never, I forget her, her name. Um, they are both uh, specialized in courses related to ICT and uh, how to um, uh, methodology of training. Um, the others, uh, we have uh, people that have uh, uh, competence related to the Wikimedia project and also OpenStreetMap, and also the person from uh, uh, Michele Montanari from OpenStreetMap is the person that manages the training for uh, the UN uh, volunteers for uh, uh, OpenStreetMap. So the, he does already uh, train for a uh, uh, global movement. Um, we needed to have both of the skills. So, and it's true that, uh, of course, if we can enlarge uh, the scientific committee, that would be interesting also to combine more. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm curious, uh, was there any pushback or resistance from the community, the Italian community, to this initiative of certifying trainers? And secondly, whether you ever say no, or I mean, you mentioned dropout, but are there any people who fail to complete or to, to be certified because they're just not haven't learned the skills well enough? Or? Not in this round. At the moment, uh, this one was an easy round. We uh, selected uh, uh, people that were highly qualified. They were already working. We um, uh, The scientific committee was quite harsh. So when they evaluated uh, also the project, uh, I think everybody uh, received feedback in which they needed to um, correct, uh, adjust, uh, remake things. And uh, also, in that case, uh, everybody was willing to do it. Uh, everybody collaborated nicely. Um, so there was a, the, the feedback was um, serious. Um, so in this case, we were sure that people had the, the, the capacity. I think uh, the selection process will be important. At the same time, uh, we also need to identify people who are ready doing uh, uh, training. And if they are a bit weak on certain things, I think we should support them in making sure that actually when they do the training, the quality is uh, higher. Um, for the second question related to the Wikipedia community, I think we will have uh, problems. Um, we will be mm, discussing about the educational projects uh, in uh, at the ItWikiCon uh, with uh, Nicolo Caranti. Uh, with, uh, we proposed a talk. Uh, we already received uh, some uh, tricky feedback, like mm, now this thing of the certification, we don't want to talk about it. So it might be a hot topic and it might be a problematic one. At the moment, uh, the online community um, is very disturbed by uh, high school students uh, that they, um, I think in, in this uh, area, maybe Marco can uh, tell more and uh, others. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Nicolo. But uh, there are tension in particular with the engagement of students on the uh, on Wikipedia in Italian. Um, so there have been some ideas also on how to improve uh, the involvement, but that is uh, definitely a hot topic. Please, uh, Nicolo. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm Nicola Caranti, I'm one of the certified trainer and I'm an admin on Italian Wikipedia. I just, uh, I'd like to add that uh, the, pro the, the community has a problem with the school projects that uh, do not follow good practices. But all of, all of us, uh, we do follow good practices, of course. So I think, I don't think that uh, the, the Wikipedia community will have problem with this. They have problem with uh, teachers, high school teachers, uh, university teachers that just send students in writing articles without teaching them how to do it, uh, to do it without uh, creating a page to explain the project and so on. Thank you. Um, please, Melissa, I think uh, there, there's also somebody, I don't know, in the, uh, sorry, in, I didn't know who uh, uh, raised his hand first. Yeah, just I'm very curious as to how you're supporting the people that have been certified now that the training is over. Is there some sort of like, you know, follow up or spaces to connect, you know? Uh, it's true that I forgot uh, one slide now that uh, you're telling me about. Uh, no, uh, um, what we ask uh, the trainer is actually to maintain the title. The title lasts uh, three years. Uh, so to maintain the title, you have to uh, 
teach at least one course, it can be paid, it can be for free, but at least doing a presentation per year. Uh, so being active in the, uh, in the community. And uh, you have to participate in at least one course. It can be something organized by Wikimedia Italy, it can be an international course, even participating in uh, uh, Wikimania or the uh, Italian conference is considered a course. Of course, you, you need to report on it. But the idea is uh, you maintain uh, your certification if you're active. You lose your certification if you're blocked uh, on the project, uh, if you have a, a, a misuse of uh, the uh, trademark, uh, and uh, if you are um, a problem with the code of conduct. And uh, if you have a limited block, uh, it needs to be evaluated by the scientific community. But um, in general, uh, the idea is to have them active and reporting on this yearly process. I think uh, what will keep them uh, in the loop uh, is really the training, so providing the training uh, yearly. Um, at the moment, uh, the problem doesn't really exist because it's really a small group of people, so and it's already very linked to Wikimedia. They're all uh, active uh, also in the, some members of the staff uh, and some, uh, and they're all extremely experienced uh, on Wikipedia. So um, this is an easy beginning. The problem will be <laughs> afterwards. Also, if we involve uh, people that do training uh, professionally uh, that are outside the community, that is also something that will multiply the problem, I think. Excellent. Thank you. I think there is uh, somebody behind you. Uh, and Gabriel. And then we need, I think, to close uh, uh, the session. Okay. Um, <coughs> you mentioned uh, that the process was really long and some, some people dropped out because of this. Um, what made the process long? Like which, which parts? Mm -hmm. But like, where? Why did people drop out? Well, uh, I think also one of the reasons was that we didn't know exactly how to do it. So we had to also uh, give some communication and then give other communication, say, oh, we forgot to ask you the CC BY SA license on your assignment. And then uh, ah, we correct this. Uh, we ask you for the presentation, but we didn't ask you for the slide. Actually, we need at least. A, uh, and also the committee wanted to listen to them, but it was difficult. So we made also some changes throughout the process. So that is something that definitely wasn't uh, easy. Uh, but in general, uh, all the steps that people need to do is quite a lot, uh, because you need to gain experience, uh, check uh, your ability, uh, following the course, and uh, since, uh, following the lessons. And uh, considering that there are volunteers, uh, we don't really pack uh, things. So, so I don't know, maybe mm, the, the Creative Commons certificate online is very well done with uh, uh, a limited amount of content uh, throughout uh, a limited period. That might be an interesting model to follow. I thought the, tra uh, the training for uh, reading Wikipedia in the classroom was very intense, very rich, uh, and too long. So maybe mm, we need also to think about also uh, online uh, uh, process that we can combine and maybe um, limiting uh, uh, the blocks or separating them. And uh, Gabriel, I think uh, we take the last uh, question because I don't want to go over the time. Um, thank you. Um, yes, um, if, if uh, we wanted to introduce a course like that on other Wikipedias, my question was who, who trains the trainers? I mean, the people have a certification that lasts for like three years, but who certifies the people doing the training? Uh, this is uh, that was the first uh, uh, problem. So we started with this list, and we identified uh, only five uh, mentor um, because we think those uh, people that we selected have already um, also the capacity to guide uh, somebody new in the movement. But it's true that the first problem is how to start. So we need to start somewhere. So we need, and uh, in our case, we try to keep uh, the committee independent from uh, the. Uh, trainer that were received the certificate. So we try to do our best to manage conflict of interest or uh, not having people uh, connected in judging, so separating them and making sure that it was open. Um, but the first round, uh, it's obviously the problem, no? so you need to start somewhere. And now that we have uh, trainers, they can improve their skills in different areas uh, and uh, they can be mentored to new, uh, new people. We are also thinking maybe we should focus on women, so I'll try to, uh, because obviously it's not balanced. So maybe people that are uh, women that are already engaged in the movement, they already do the training. Maybe we can support them next. So it will be also 
interesting to see what comes next if we have uh, enough people interested in continuing this experience so we don't know so it, we don't know the second round and apparently it's probably the most complicated the second round because uh, the first one we it was easy somehow the people were already pre-selected now we need also to build on skills uh, maybe we sh we will have to say no as uh, asafa was mentioning so some of the people we will say no you you or maybe we need to provide enough skills and support to make them good in what they're doing so this is uh, the second round will be probably more complicated okay thank you very much i think uh